no we are not getting four android version updates hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and yesterday google posted a new blog post on their android developers website with the title saying treble plus one equals four colon extending android updates on qualcomm's mobile platforms now before we get down to business those of you who have been running custom roms you would of course know that google introduced project treble a few years back and the aim was to get faster android updates right which is why we have devices like Poco F1 which run Android 11 or Android 11 GSI without any or minimal issues. So Google did create a separate partition called the vendor partition and then developers or custom ROM developers would leverage that to bring you new Android versions before the OEM would. But eventually Project Treble had its limitation or a drawback and the best person to explain that drawback would be THH, the developer behind many treble ports and the dude has a bunch of devices running treble ports. He says if you do not care about Google's certification, you can upgrade an Android 8 device to Android 11 pretty quickly, right? You can keep the vendor from Android 8. The device will boot in a day it will be usable in a week and production ready in a month now this is as long as you do not care about google certification so this is all our custom rom devs gsi ports all those things now for an oem they need google certification so basically xiaomi or samsung they cannot push out an android update and say it's not going to pass google certification and this is where the problem came in to upgrade and pass google's certification you needed to update the drivers to android 11 base which as he correctly mentions like kind of defeats the purpose of project treble right you're trying to make it faster but then the oem still has to update the drivers to the version of android to which they are upgrading this is what google is basically trying to fix with the latest blog post they are saying that we are going to use the same vendor implementation for different android versions so they are basically freezing the vendor and let us say a device launched on android 11 the same vendor can be used on android 12 13 and 14 without any issues now a lot of blogs and some people are reporting that this means that you will get four android os updates no you are not getting four android os updates the vendor is going to support four android versions and you will get four years of security updates so it is actually supporting four android versions which includes the current version on which the device launched so if you have a look at the pixel 2 and pixel 2 xl those devices launched with android 8 oreo and they were updated to android 9 android 10 and android 11 so you got three android os updates from google but it was actually like four android versions which ran on that device similarly with this new implementation as well the thing here to note is that it will support four android os versions it does not mean you will get four android os updates so let us say a device launches with android 11 so you will get 12 13 and 14 that is what the vendor is going to support and in addition to that you are getting four years of security updates so yes google did this with the pixel 2 and pixel 2 xl and now they are making it easier for other oems and qualcomm to update their devices and give you three android os updates then again an important thing to note over here is that it is up to the OEM to provide you that update or not. Google is not forcing any OEM to do it or making it an industry-wide standard. It is up to the OEM to do it. And we all know most OEMs out there 
want to sell you the latest tech and the latest device they don't want to give you three android os updates it's only google and samsung which have done it in the past and i'm pretty sure no other oem out there has any interest in doing it because there's no incentive to doing it and it is like correctly mentioned by phh as well in his latest post he says that oems no longer require support from soc vendor in this case say Qualcomm, and odm to manage upgrade to a newer android version they can keep drivers originally provided by Qualcomm for say android 11 and use it to give you an update for 12 13 and 14 but are they going to do it that is a bigger question something which we will come to know in the next few years at as to which oems actually adapt or adopt this new feature from google and qualcomm and phh also mentions that there is a side effect of this right the side effect is that since qualcomm does not have to provide the latest drivers right so it is likely that a number of new features on a older soc will drop and he gives the example that they wouldn't have wpa3 on a snapdragon 855 under the new implementation of using the same vendor across four different android os versions and it is going to be harder for the open source community to support the devices because they do not have the latest drivers right you have to rely on the drivers which were released by qualcomm at the time of releasing the source or at the time of release of the device or the soc so all in all there's some good news here there's some bad news here but i just wanted to clear the confusion that no you're not actually getting four years or four android os updates you're getting three android os updates and that too at the mercy of the oem like say samsung oneplus xiaomi realme whoever it is